Sportscast Sports Talk 101 on digital radio, on the app, on your smart speaker, on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch.tv, and Facebook. Sportscast Sports Talk 101. Discuss, debate, entertain, and loud. Sportscast Sports Talk 101. get this over to the chat side of things oh my god holy hell and and what a even crazy them. crazy i have votes of football I, we we said this last year i i swear to god i think we said this last two years that week one is always the craziest every season and i think this one topped the last two years because nobody i don't care how good you are at predicting games i don't think there was half the games this week one Nobody would have been able to figure that shit out. That that was some weird anomaly stuff that um, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I can't. I, first of all, I'm glad I wasn't in Vegas because I would have been le- le- left with my with my underwear on, folks. Because I would have been broke. I would have lost all my money because none of my picks. Maybe a couple of my. I mean, I didn't. I gotta get. Hey, I'm. I gotta give props to my man over here, Vet. Uh, he 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 picked some winners, guys. He did. He. He yes. called the Tom Brady match, even though Brady Brady did look a little bit slow. Well, but I got to give it up. Sluggish, but remember, he he they played won. he yes, won they won. But Brady True. was not. He missed basically all of uh, the yeah. off season. True. He was he True. was he didn't do any tr- preseason games, but one that play, I True. think, or one rep, and then he was done. <laughs> So he had way more rust than he should have, but you know it's Tom Brady who gives crap because you know by gotta, he's Tom gotta, Brady halfway through the season he's going to be back in goat mode anyway. So well, for, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> oh, <good Lord. laughs> Dallas. I, so we have a, a lovely guest that loves to troll us, if you will, um, <laughs> Jeff, who's a. He's he's a good friend of ours. He's in the gaming community, but he's also unfortunately a Dallas Cowboys fan. Now, after the end of that game, I actually contacted my good buddy Stephen A, uh, who went out to look for him, <laughs> and he disappeared. How about <laughs> them Cowboys? <laughs> I, I can't. Hey, I can't. Like, hey, every, my team did not win. My team hey, we're not, did not every, win. But guess the what? Best thing about Stephen A is. Every if you watch a Cowboys game, all you got to you don't even have to watch it. If they lose, go on social media, look up Stephen A, and then you can just watch because every he's going to post about a hundred plus videos, and all he's going to be doing is laughing, and it will put you in the greatest mood ever. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I, I, and that's exactly yes. what you just said. Exactly, I go to the Twitter page. I definitely <laughs> get up in the morning to watch uh, first take to see what he's. Oh doing my god. Doing. Audi, what's up? What's buddy? going on, Audi? XB Audi, how you doing? It is, yeah. He he brightens the day when the Cowboys lose. <laughs> well, brother, what 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 game you want to? We got a lot of game, a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, a lot we'll of start stuff. off. We'll start with the Bills. Holy shit, the Bills Mafia. That defense <laughs> was uh, where Von Miller is back, folks. He looks young. He looks fresh. Hell, that, I so almost are you pissed sure that him off because. They, sh- I saw images of him, but then they show the like the you know the just the picture, and he mm. looked old. He had the glasses. He looked just like an old dude. Then they, you see the Von Miller on the field just crushing people, and I'm like, that's yeah. not the same Von Miller. What, what happened here, <laughs> folks? Because he I looked picked, like a different player. I pick, I picked the Rams. I thought the Rams was going to come in with swag and so far, and guess what? They got. I will. First of all, I want to apologize to Josh Allen. I am sorry. I will never, ever, ever go up against you. This guy is Josh Allen. I got him probably. One. He's probably gonna be MVP, man. He's probably gonna be MVP. He. Yeah, Patrick. definitely. He could very easily. I'm gonna see if I can pull up a clip real quick. Um, while we're chatting about it. All right. Well, first of all, man. Um. Holy crap, man! I mean, but hey, you got to give props to uh, Cup. Cup Cup carried the team. Cup carried the team, folks. So, and Matthew Stafford. I mean, I I I made fun of it and said, "Oh crap, 
It's the Detroit Matthew Stafford of the Lions is back. But the math, well, and you could theoretically say that because even when he was with the Lions and he was terrible, he was still good. The Lions were so bad that Matthew Stafford was the bright spot and still made plays. It was just a total failure. And I don't know what happened. I don't expect this to be a, a, a trend for for the Rams. I no, just no, this this first, is week one that the they just week, up. Was, I think they hyped themselves week. up so much that they well what, what hurt they what hurt them was where the hell was Acres the running back who got I mean anybody had Acres on their fantasy team you, I feel sorry for you yeah do you realize they had no the Bills had no punts that game zero that is a, that's a rarity ooh, not there are a zero gotta, punts well they've had zero punts. In the mm -hmm. three of the last four regular season games, they had the first team to accomplish that feat since individual punts began being tracked in 1939. So XB, XB just said, uh, Audi just said, who do you think will win on September 19th, the Vikings or the Eagles? Oof. I'm, I'm going Vikings on that because I'm going to, I'm, gonna, I'm, I, I'm going, I, look, let me tell you, first of all, everybody don't get it twisted. It's the first week. Vikings look like a Super Bowl team. You know why? Because they played a bunch of young boys with a mad court. Did you see the look at the camera images on Aaron Rodgers? Oh, God, he looked like a grumpy old man. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the only body that showed up to that game was the running backs. And as far as yeah. the receivers, I mean, these guys are dropping balls. Even Cobb, man, was dropping uh, balls yeah. and stuff. I, I don't blame... Um, Rodgers for being pissed at his receiving core. That mm -hmm. doesn't surprise me in mm -hmm. the least. Um, okay, so I've got a clip that I'm going to share, Jeff, but woo, woo. Je Je let me Jefferson. get back. Let me get back to that question when we get, we get to the the team. But um, yeah. Jefferson looks sweet. But hey, so did Aaron Garrett, Brown. Dalvin. It took Cook. It, it took Dalvin a little bit to get going. But the thing is, once he gets going, he's hard to stop. When when right. he gets running, <clears throat> you didn't need no cook with 184 yards. And people are like, and the people are like, why are the Vikings? This isn't the same Vikings we saw last season. That's because they have a new head coach, they got a new right. GM, they've right. got a, a new offensive coordinator and a new defensive coordinator, and they're all young. And the offensive coordinator came from the Rams, and he's also playing to Cousins' talents, which is what I've right. always stated that the problem with Cousins is to make him look superb is what mm -hmm. Shanahan did. And he played the offense to Cousins' talents, and that is when he shines. The, and I'm, the, I'm, and that I'm, defense, I'm gonna, that no, was no, a bruh, different bruh, Vikings bruh, defense. Bruh, bruh, bruh. First of all, <clears throat> first of all, let me let me explain something to you, man. <laughs> you, you put, you're putting too much on the Vikings. Bro, they they played a a, a bunch of boys. A bunch, they played a high school team, man. Like these boys were not ready. <laughs> McFleur, McFleur, you better, yeah, you better get them boys ready, man. Because Aaron Rodgers, man, he gonna be like, oh no, 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 and don't don't discredit me hyping up the Vikings. It's just because I I hate Rodgers so much that when he loses yeah. like this, it's fun yeah. to to pick to just ridicule. I, mean, good Lord. I don't just I don't. Aaron, quite, he's gonna come back with vengeance. V That's Aaron, what he does. Aaron, vet, vet. I look, you could have ran out there, sat in a lawn chair. I could have threw the ball <laughs> and you could have caught it. All right. Dudes was so many God, dude, Jefferson was wide open, brother. Okay. There was so many like good lord, man. Yeah. What's going on? I, I, I don't know, but so we're gonna show this clip as well. They're gonna get exposed. Um, let's go back. One of the best, the best highlight I have seen. Wait for it. Get out of here, boy. Get your, boy. Ass, Get your <laughs> ass down. <laughs> bro. Bro. Oh, Man, my God. Bro. You can't okay, even. Okay. Look, you can't, look, that guy, he, he's like, dude, you just got posterized, man. You got posterized <laughs> bro, by, by Josh Allen. Do you realize? But Allen, he's a big dude. Like, he I was a very at big dude. He's big. I was like. On TV, he don't look that big, but then you see him <laughs> when he's like running. I'm like, boy, I, meat, I man, don't want to be the one you, that gets in front of him you, when he barrels man, over. He's in meat, man. His his parents fed him well, dude. That's a big <laughs> boy. Yeah, Here's dude. another thing. Here's the thing. 
the running backs were <laughs> subpar. He he was. Do you know he was not only throwing the ball, but he was the number one running back on the team. So the oh, yeah, guy was yeah. doing. He does everything. He so. he pulled the di- the thing that I like about him. He has that similarity to Lamar Jackson. The difference between those two, though, is mm-hmm. Jackson can run. We know that. That's that's his mm-hmm. main talent. He's okay at throwing. Allen can run, right. and he's a, he goes beast mode like that, but he right. also can throw, which makes him even more dangerous. He's like Michael Vick in his prime, when Vick could run, throw, and just leave your ass in the dust. My hat off to Josh Allen, 56 yards, running, and a touchdown, folks. And hold on. You got to give it up to Diggs. He was throwing that ball to Diggs. He was throwing that ball to McKenzie. He was throwing that ball to D- – I mean, good Lord, man. He was – Diggs Rams. is going to be, I think, the one to watch on that team, especially because they were how they lost last year, and that's gonna that's gonna be in the back of his mind, mm-hmm. just like in just like when he was with the Vikings and they right. lost. That's two times they've lost in what a championship you, game, and he's gonna he knows that. Why, why did the Ram, Why did the Rams lose that? What would you What would you say why the Rams lost? What oh. was it? It's uh. Well, they didn't have a running game. They did not have they had a running, no running game. game. Anderson was okay with little defense. Was, it, the defense couldn't do much. And I get Stafford. It's not Stafford's 100% his fault. But you only had one receiver playing, basically. Because nobody else was doing much. That I, I would put that on the entire the, the majority of the well, offense his, and your defense. His, because they didn't. His, uh, uh, his what was it? he'll 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 be he'll be, I can't even say heck be whatever the hell his name is yeah. tied in he was dro- I mean he did uh thirty nine yards he was dropping some balls got dude, guys are dropping balls man you got to go to cut I just yeah I don't understand what was going on there um the next one we'll talk about Saints Falcons woo I mean woo. I think I picked the Saints right I don't I'm not a hundred percent sure I may I have not think I, I can't, can't remember I think. I think you did, but let me just put it like that. Whew. That was that Whew. was like one of these. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Like, Bron- how did they come yeah. back, man? How did I they come know. back? I Sean Payton must have been doing something on the side. Because <laughs> Cord- Cordell Patterson, 22 carries, 120 yards. The man was balling. Balling. That is crazy numbers. But, and Sean Thomas. To the shout out to the Falcons mm-hmm. because I didn't. Oh, can't wait for the FC Dallas versus Earthquakes on the 17th. Ooh, it's got to be. I'm assuming it's soccer. San, yes. hey, San, San Jose, that's my hey, shout out to my San Jose Earthquakes, soccer, baby. So shout, out to my, sh- shout out to my San Jose Earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but look, give it up for the the uh, Vi- or not the Vikings, the um, Falcons. Because <laughs> I know they lost. What but... do you mean give it up, dude? They lost. Hey, not only I hold on, know. hold on, hold on. I ain't giving them. Sh- I ain't get. I ain't giving them nothing because you had your foot on the Saints' throat. You All right. were All right. leading. So if we look at look at the stats for that game, who who would you say was the the high the the one that shown the most? Because I'm gonna put get... it probably. I'm gonna probably well, go towards the quarterback. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to, to the quarterbacks. I'm, I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to give it to the two quarterbacks. And you got to give it up for Taysom Hill. You got to give it up for Taysom Hill because he's the one that got that 57-yard long uh, uh, rushing, and then he went in for the touchdown. But He, and the, he, he got the motion going. See, but then you that, get, that was, go ahead. Go ahead. No, but then you got, <laughs> yeah, Mike Thomas, Jarvis Laundry. Uh, I mean, them guys were catching the balls, but you got to get up. Mike Thomas hasn't played, folks, since 20, tw- <laughs> like since 20. All right. He ain't been around and they needed him. And he came back, got two touchdowns. One yep. catch was like Jamison threw it up in the air. And I was like, there is no way in the hell this guy's going to catch it. He got up and he caught that ball. So, um, Wow, I you know what I can't give it to. I got to give it up for that the, the team. That was a, yeah, that was that was a team effort. The one thing I've always loved about Taysom Hill is that he's he is a triple threat QB. Yes, he, he doesn't yes, even he, ha- he can have that title as quarterback, but he's a dangerous person to have 
as a runner, as a receiver. He led the team in rece- uh, Taysom Hill. Four carries, 81 yards, and a touchdown. Led yeah. the team in rushing. Right. Um, yards, I should say yards, not carries. Yeah. Um, Kamara had nine carries, but only 39 yards. And even with that, he's still averaging four yards a carry, which isn't bad. No. Um, I mean, it's not Taysom Hill yards, but, you know. Um, Jarvis Landry, two seven catches, 114 yards. Mm-hmm. Um, fantastic. Michael Thomas. He came alive. He came alive in the fourth quarter. Yep. The, the, but like quarter. I said, I mean, and the defense was there. Um, let me see. Let's pull up the uh, Falcon stats. But Jameis Winston, that's another one. It's a Florida, Florida State alumni. And I have always liked Winston, even when he was in college. Um, he look, hey, I he looked he bad first. Done. He looked bad the first half, though, man. I was like, yes, yes. What in but the hell? Back, it, first week one jitters. You, everybody I, has them. I give you that. Um, give you that. He's he's on it. He doesn't have um, Drew Brees around anymore. So now it's really his team at this mm-hmm. point. Um, but he did stat wise 23, 34, 269, but let, 269 let, yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. That's here's the biggest the, thing. Here, here, here's the thing though Atlanta almost won within yes. seconds of that game. Only reason kicker, which yep. is a good kicker, kick got blocked. Well, you know what it was? I heard what it was is the laces weren't out. <laughs> man i'm sitting here i'm sitting here and i'm like oh my god this will be one of a hell of a comeback and they're getting ready to lose it with this kick and Christopher Torres, what's going on buddy what's going on torres love you brother man man well and the and what would have been even more phenomenal if the falcons had won mariota had, was 20 of 33 215 yards mm-hmm. no touchdowns no interceptions <laughs> So, that, those yes, Vikings they did, did yes, they, they think? Did. Well, oh my God! They, did, <laughs> they played a bunch of of, of rookies, hey, hey, man. It, Come on it, now! It's not. The, we're not celebrating the Vikings as a whole. We're celebrating Grandpa Rogers got his butt whooped and threw his little temper tantrum again. <laughs> man, I, <laughs> That's I, I the will. Only reason I will. I'm repping this. <laughs> Tor, I, Torres, though, I will give a hey, Jefferson. You know, but the whole man. Yeah. Left, I feel honestly, and I'm not a Packer fan, but I was like, Coach, did you coach? Are you what is like the the holes and just oh my god. Hey, I'm a Niner oh, fan. We need uh-oh. to be beat those Seahawks and <laughs> Gina. Dude, let me tell you something. Like I said, it's the game first week. All right, you know what? People gonna get exposed. Chris, Chris- Chris, Chris talk, brought up the Niners. We'll, we'll skip the next team. We'll go back one for that one, but we'll talk 49ers Bears. Uh, okay. Since, since um, first of all, <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm nine fan, been a Niners fan since the 80s. Love my Niners. Um, Trey, mm-hmm. I'm not mad. He, you know, it was a, if you guys watch, it was a damn brainstorm. It was horrible. Sloppy the game. The feel was horrible. There was penalties. Uh, I got to give it up to Ayuk. Ayuk did his thing. You know, yep. uh, him and Trey, they were connecting. There was one I almost broke my TV because they said <laughs> that I uke pushed off. I even put the video on my Twitter page. That was a horrible call, you oh, know. I but that. yeah, I, that I was, totally agree. With I that. mean, come on, man, come on, ref. But and I think that really just screwed the momentum because the kid was doing great. But um, I uke, he had a wonderful, uh, okay first half. But I got to give it up to Fields, man. Um, second half, Fields came alive, and he was running, and he was passing. Think, but the, I would say the other thing that do you think the other thing that hurt the Niners is is Kittle, not not being in the lineup. Oh come on, man! Kittle being would have helped us, but you, we also lost our running back, dude. Mitchell got yeah. hurt, so then yep, we had yep. to have we had to have Debo running. We had to put in Wilson. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, man, but Wilson I, is just not Mitchell. Chris, Chris said, uh, "Give Trey some time." And look, yeah. I don't know if, yeah. how many of the shows you've watched, but I have been, let's say, critical of Trey Lance um, more so just because he's young and he's. I've seen some flaws. He has but, play, I, but yeah, no, games. and that's that's what I'm getting. At. That's what I'm getting at is is he hasn't had. This is his time to show that yes, I can lead this team. I can be the leader, or mm-hmm. you find out he can't. I think he can. He showed um, this was just this was a sloppy game. Like you knew right off the bat when you see them squeegeeing water off the field 
and a guy losing his popcorn because water just tumbling into it. Uh, <laughs> Bro, he, I've like so when they when they tackled Trey, man, they were pushing Trey's face in that muddy water. I got to give the kid heart because he was using his legs too. Uh, he did run for uh, what did he run? He ran thirteen carries, fifty four yards. Okay, that's, so that's still ain't bad. He was running, and he, still, and he got 164 yards passing. I know he had the one interception. Now the interception right. technically was not on him; that was on the receiver. But we all know that if the receiver bobbles it and it goes into mm-hmm. someone else's hand, still count. It still goes against the Niners. I know that they are trying to, or the quarterback. I know that they're trying to talk about changing that rule at some point, right. possibly. So it doesn't. It's not a, a notch on the the QB, which that's. I think that should be. Because right. there are some of those those interceptions you just can't control. I was but hoping I was good. hoping Kittle good. would I was hoping Kittle would play, but he didn't. And yeah. uh, like and I said, you got to I tip my hat off. The Chicago won. You get that's you got to play these ugly games, and you got to you know what. And and shout out to Fields because he you know he's had it rough because he's with the Bears. Yes, he had he a did. rough last season, yeah. but he didn't look. I mean, yes, I get it. Was he was eight for seventeen. 121 yards. He had two touchdowns and the interception. Um, 11 carries, 28 yards rushing. But mm-hmm. he, you know, you get what you get, especially well, when you're playing for, in those kind of conditions. You got it. You got it. Khalil Herbert. <clears throat> you know, he ran 45 yards. He had yep. a, a, a TD. Dante Pettis with a TD. And then you had some guy, St. Brown. He got a TD. I mean, they 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 did what they had to yeah. do in ugly weather, man. Here we they, go. They, uh, Josh Allen struggled when he first played, but Niners are going to be fine. Trust me, they will win a lot of games. I oh, I have faith, I have faith in the Niners. I mm-hmm. have faith in them, and I have I I think that Lance, with more t- the more time he gets, the better he's going to get. He's just got to get used to being the starter, and he didn't have that opportunity last year. So you know, right. it's a different thing when you're just coming in towards the tail end of the season, or when J- Jimmy goes down, you're thrown in. But it's completely different when you know you are the guy. So, uh, yeah, no, you are you are absolutely right, absolutely right. And then, um, bro, just so you know, the only team that won in the NFC what in our division was the Seahawks. Forty <laughs> ers didn't win, Cardinals didn't win, and damn. the Rams didn't win. The Seahawks with the W. Yeah. So next one up, Cleveland Browns are one and zero, and the Carolina Panthers are zero and one. Now, that's a pick that I did not get correct because I went with the Panthers, and unfortunately, that fell apart. I don't know what happened there, but... You almost won, hey, you almost won brother. The Panthers I know, coming back. You know what? Jacoby Brissett is not a... He's not a bad... He's not a great, but he's a good quarterback. He's He's got skill. We mm-hmm. saw that when he, you know, when he stepped up the role in Indy. So he right. can lead a team. Um, 18 to 34, 147 yards, a touchdown, and no interceptions. There's a lot of quarterbacks right. this, this week that have not had the interception bug. Yeah, but let me, let me tell you something. When you, you got know what? Nick Chubb, when you got Nick Chubb running 141, <laughs> and then you got Kareem Hunt, got got the TD, not just a run TD, but he got a receiving TD. I yep. mean, those were, the, those were the weapons. Those were the weapons. I mean, uh, I think the most dangerous part of the Browns' offense is – the running backs. You've got two of the best running backs in the league, especially Chubb. Chubb is, I have watched him since he was with the Browns and yeah. he's just gotten better every season. Um, and this was probably one of the best. Now I get that he's probably going to get a lot more yards running, you know, the ball to him more good, often. Good, good on that win, Torres. Good on that win. <laughs> good on that win. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I think the highlight for the Browns was the running game. I, I get the, the receiving was there, but to me, the the best part of watching that game and looking at the highlights was the running because uh, they had, I don't even know how, I mean, they, well, he, 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 they had over 200 yards rushing. That's Chris, crazy. Christian, Christian, Christian looked rusty, man. Sorry. And that, yeah. and that dude's a stud. Christian yeah. McCaffrey is a stud. Do you stud. think that they were hyped up too much with Baker coming back to to Cleveland, do you think they hyped him up? Which and that could have played a part, or no? Well, honestly, I mean, they, let, let's, not, 
we also got to put it. You got to put it on the defense, man. You got to put it on the defense yes. too because they let. I mean, Tub didn't just. <laughs> they let him get by. They let him get through. You know, yeah. they let Kareem yeah, that, get through. That was, you your defense gave up over two hundred yards rushing. You have a problem exactly. with the offensive line. That there is a go. major problem. Uh, but Baker on the other side looked pretty good. I mean, sixteen to twenty-seven is not bad. Two hundred and thirty-five yards, a touchdown, and the interception. Um, the problem for that was they had no running game. You can't. The league has changed, and yeah. I have been saying this, and I have been a fan of the league changing <laughs> because. If you are a pass happy league, like we all know the NFL has been that for several years. The problem is that defenses learn. And as defenses get better, you can't have a pass happy league. You have to go back to the running game. Baker Mayfield did connect a 75 yard burger to uh, Anderson. So, yeah, ru- ru- uh, he had Robbie five Anderson. catches, 102 yards. Um, so. But yeah, that was clearly that was a defensive problem for the Browns, they, or not the Browns, the. Uh, Panthers need to figure out the defense, and yeah. the the other issue was the, the running game. Now, I'm not going to say that that's going to be a, a trend because we all know Christian McCaffrey is a beast, and that will not stay that way. So I hope I hope not, but I you got, not. guys got to understand also, guys, that running back, he has injuries, though, folks. And I hope yeah. and I pray that these injuries don't, like, you know, hurt him. Or you're on the – the wrong age of a running back age, you know, like when you start getting your late twenties, early thirties, you start, I mean, you are starting to see that now with people like Zeke and uh, there's a whole bunch of running yep. backs, man. They running like they used to. So when you get hit, you get injured, it takes a toll. Yeah. Um, it, it does. It adds up. And I mean, we know that, um, that we've got a Dax out. We know, I believe, I think he's going to have issues coming back. And it's not nothing bad. It's just the simple fact that it's his throwing hand and it's thumb. So if that is not 100%, that's going to be a hard thing to control that ball when you're throwing, especially when that's his, that's the main thing he does. That's because, let's be real, Zeke don't do a whole much on that team. I mean, was he even there for that game? But anyways. Um, we'll, we'll get, let's see. We got the Browns. We got the saints. We knocked out the Niners Steelers and the Bengals. Woo. That was a good game. Oh, good game. Tw- good I mean, game. Steelers won 23 to 20 was definitely a, a, a pretty good game. It was a very good game, but those are this. Anytime the Steelers play either, it seems the Bengals or the Browns. It's always a slugfest. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, got to give it up to, uh, Mitch, uh, you know, he, he 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 didn't throw a pick. No, no. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't throw any interceptions. Of, Twenty-one of thirty-eight, one hundred ninety-four yards and a touchdown. No interceptions. Yeah. yeah. You know they got a they got they got a, a powerful tight end. He get he got uh, Pat got what seventy-five yards. Yep, uh, seventy-five yards on five catches. You know, I um, think the only uh, Najee Najee Harris was the only one that actually caught a got, did a touchdown. Yeah. Um, that, and that was a, clearly a goal line touchdown. But De- Deontay Johnson, seven catches, 55 yards. I think the issue for the, the Steelers is that what they need to figure out is the running game. Because you had Harris, 10 yeah. carries for yeah. 23 yards. That's terrible. Hey, that, that is horrible. I think that's, I could have ran better that day. That's 2.3 <laughs> yards. I've got two partially replaced knees. I got <laughs> and I probably could have run that Forrest Gump style run as when he was a kid and just clunked right. my way around and got more yards than that. Um, then until again, they hit me and then I would have been out for this. That would have been over. I mean, Joe, Joe Mixon, 82 yards. Even Joe Burrow, 47 yards. They didn't get Burrow any TD. Was, Burrow. But the problem He's, that I see with Burrow is he threw the ball 53 times. That's a lot. Well, first of all, the problem with Burrow is he has, once again, no offensive line. He threw four interceptions. That's, he, yeah, he, that's a bad. He's he's um. They got to they got to get that guy some better protection, man. Because he's gonna his kids to. gonna get killed. I mean, he did great. Look, look and we're I'm not knocking him. I yeah, the interceptions is bad. Uh, Chase. <laughs> he had he had Jamar <laughs> Chase. Ten catches, 129 yards, yeah. and a touchdown. Now the re but the thing is, remember Jamar Chase. And Joe Burrow played mm-hmm. college together. I yes. have seen 
I already knew that, and Burrow wanted him, yeah. wanted the Bengals to get him. And guess yeah. what happened? He got him, and I can guarantee you, the more the season goes, the better they're going to be. They're that the le- I can see them being like the Joe. Joe Montana, Jerry Rice kind of duo. But let's keep it real. The reason the Bengals should have won is because their kicker, not that yep. missed one, but he <laughs> missed two. Yeah. Two. And that's your job. Those... You got one job. One job. Kick what's the a good damn ball? What's, what is what is a good app ball. on iOS to watch sports? I don't know. I just I watch you. I just look everything up on YouTube. <laughs> Tom Brady can still have a good grip on the use ball. Okay, Maker, we got we got the troll in here. <laughs> yep, you knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. Um. All right. So let's see. Next up, where are we at, Tom? Oh yeah, that was a good game. Plus. That was a that, yes, that game went into OT OT. Good game. Um. Another one that could have um, Eagles Lions. Oh. Eagles won. They hey, AJ Brown, baby. Thirty eight to thirty five. Brown. Brown. Brown looked freaking amazing. Hertz looks amazing. Um, watch the, out, the folks. The Eagles are legit. To, yeah, the thing that I was I was looking for when I watched that game it was it was the um, the running because I wanted to see where the Eagles would be with the running game, especially how they ended the season last year. Uh, damn near two people. Damn near got a hundred yards. Mike uh, Miles Sanders ninety six and Jalen Hurts seventeen. Um, but hey, got to give it up to Detroit because Detroit had DeAndre Swift with a hundred and forty four yards and a touchdown. That guy's a stud. He's a stud on Detroit. Yeah. D- I mean the the thing that I let's see. Jalen Hurts ran all over the Lions. Hurts attempt and he the thing is. Jalen Hurts only did – he threw 14 passes. 14. Completing nine of them for 103 yards and rushed seven times for 71 yards for – in an embar- 44 to uh, – oh, wait. That's – is that – yeah. Um, the Eagles finished 236 yards rushing. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, A.J. Brown, 155 yards. He caught a 54-long pass that was just – I mean, his brother was off the chain. Oh, yeah. He off he the was. They, and then I was looking at it. They said the Eagles finished with 236 yards rushing. Eight more yards than the Lions' off, entire offense generated overall. Yeah. I'm not going to. Is... The Lions, just so you guys know, Lions did not play like, like, like they did not lay down. They did try and come back. No, they, they could have won. I will give them that. They did fight yeah. because. A lot of times, you in past seasons, mm-hmm. it would not they would not have put up thirty five points. Let's be real; it would have been Eagles thirty eight, Lions maybe ten. They played better seven. than the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. It looked like they, they, they better switched. than Aaron Rodgers. Look, look, look like they switched uh, <laughs> uh, position, uh, you know, personalities or whatever yeah. plays. Yeah, it's not let me see the uh, the stats though for the Eagles game on the NFL site. It's not shown you. anything, which is I got. Uh, it's, so it's disappointing. J- Jalen Hurts, two hundred forty-three yards, uh, no TDs, no interceptions though, but he did. Uh, he carried seventeen for ninety yards. Uh, he averaged about five point three. He even did a longest run was about sixteen. Uh, they're running the rushing Philadelphia. They did good in running, uh, receiving their um, tight end Dallas uh, Godert. 60 yards, no TDs. A.J. Brown, 155 yards, no TDs. It's kind of weird, really weird, but it was the running. Yards. All the running backs scored the TD. This is a first. <laughs> look, Mike Sanders, TD. Jalen Hurts, TD. Hey, Kenna, can you get a TD? Sure, TD. Hey, Boston, can you get but, a TD? All but right, you boom. know what? The Eagles haven't been like that. They haven't had that good of a running attack in a long time. It's a yeah. lot of it's been – I don't remember. I mean, I remember years ago, you know, watching Eagles Washington games, and mm-hmm. it was you know that p- ground and pound type stuff with the running mm-hmm. game. But it's it's good to see that they've got that, and they they clearly have receiving talent. And they got both. That's, <laughs> they got that's both. The best thing. Yeah, Eagles is they, a and the defense. Is as threat. long as that defense can control it and keep the other team off, 
they're going to be a dangerous team. To they well, they will they here, can here, very here, easily here, make a, a here, run this year. Here's the problem now. Detroit scored 35 points. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's right. Lions. The defense. That goes on the defense. Of the, yeah. So obviously the offense is not the problem. <laughs> Coach, you got to figure out that defense you or somebody does because on, you, can't Lions. Allow it. you can't win and a lot, still a lot, but still they, give up that amount of points. They couldn't, they could not stop DeAndre Swift. I mean, the guy ran, he had a fit, 50 long run. 50 yard long run folks um so next. next game up was a, a loss for both teams i'm sorry i mean oh no it was a tie yeah it's still a loss uh colts and texans that was clearly uh they ended the game 20 to 20 and and normally that would be considered a tie but we all know that if you don't win it's a loss we don't ties are so uh was, mills mills it was really a good game tough. Mill shocked me in that game because he threw uh, 23 to 37, 240 yards with two TDs. Yeah. He looked, he looked did, great. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Where looked, did he come he from? Good. He, looked, he looked good. Um, the, running was not there. That that that's, And the problem is that Burke had 14 carries for 40 yards. Now, normally that would – that no, that I'm just kidding. That's awful. Because he was only averaging two point nine yards. <laughs> if you've got fourteen carries, Burkhead ain't Burkhead ain't the main guy though, man. Uh, it's P- yeah. Pierce is the main guy, and uh, what the hell? Um, he the he sad th- ele- thirty three yards. <laughs> the sad oh, thing man. is that Jeff Driscoll had a better average, but he only ran <laughs> one time. <laughs> All right, see you, Audi. Yeah, take care, man. That that's uh, a bad sign. That is, but you, hey, Matt Ryan, three hundred and fifty-two yards. Um, Ryan looked. It, Ryan looked good in his first. I mean, I get he it. He looked guys. good towards the end. end. He looked good yes. towards. He looked towards the first quarter. I was like, oh, now the, this Matt, is, what's going this on? This is my problem. This is going to be. This is my main issue with this outcome that both teams lost because of this. Now, why in the hell did the Colts lose? And not get a win when you had Matt Ryan, 32 of 50. He threw for 352 yards and a yep. touchdown. Good. Jonathan Taylor, him. 31 yep. carries. Matt Ryan. Threw, so this is the this is what's terrible about this tie is Matt Pittman. Ryan threw the ball Pittman 50 Jr. times. Matt Ryan threw 50, the ball 50 times. Jonathan Taylor ran it 31 times for 161 yards and a touchdown. Matt Ryan ran the ball four times for 12 yards, and you still lost. You still didn't Michael, win the game. Michael, that give it up. Michael Pittman Jr., though, he did get 121 yards. Yes, receiving but, with that, a TD. but that is a problem when you have that kind of offensive yardage, total offensive yards. That's ridiculously high, and you still couldn't win a game. There's clearly something – there's an issue somewhere that the, they coaching, need to fix. Coaching, coaching, coaching. Uh, because clearly the offense looked great. I mean, that's fantastic. Right. I would. There are t- dozens. Every team would love to have their quarterback throw that many times, or for that kind of yardage, and have that kind of running back have that kind of a day, and a receiver have that kind of day. Well, but what not, happened? And win the what, game. Hap- what happened was actually the Colts were playing because actually Texas was dominating. The Colts had to play catch up. They didn't start yeah. getting those stats until the like the end of the game. They woke up and said, "Cause I got I had Jonathan Taylor on my fantasy league. I was like, run your ass, man! Come on, come on!" Yeah. And, uh, now the, the other issue that this is part of why the the Colts didn't successfully win this game was Matt Ryan had one interception, but the biggest issue is he fumbled the ball four times. Yeah, four times. He did lose. There you go. Yeah, he lost it once. But yeah. the problem that I see here is. You had one interception and you fumbled the ball four times. That is not the way to start the season. Yep. You're right, buddy. So yeah. They they definitely have some things to work on. And like I said, we can't really week one is always the weird one. That's the always it's the weird stepchild. No, you don't know what the hell they're some, gonna do. Some, some of these guys didn't even play preseason games. Yeah. Uh and so I mean you can tell the rust. Oh shit! Some, I thought my wife was down here. It's Siri. It's the Amazon thing. Read me some <laughs> stats about how many people are in the world. 
<laughs> like, like, Man, it, 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 who's talking to me? That's that thing is scary. Like, that shit is when it's, it's nobody down here. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, stop! Oh my god, I'm gonna unplug that bitch. Okay, next game up was Dolphins Patriots. Good, game. I good game. It was a good game. I was not expecting the Patriots to fail. Like this. Now I know that their quarterback. I'm a Mac. I'm a fan of Mac Jones. I love that the kid's got talent. He gets mm-hmm. better every game. But I don't know what the hell happened here. He looks uh, good. I, Twenty-one of thirty-two, thirteen, a touchdown. I mean, he had to have an interception. Okay. Um, but I don't know where the running game was at. To to look good, man. I got to give to is. I and look good. Tua look I will good. admit, I may have been wrong about all my criticisms on Tua because he's getting better and better and he's starting to look like that kid pre-injury in college he does and I he's have, got yeah not I only does he look good but he's got tyreek hill and he's got waddle these got these boys are some very fast running receivers yep um, and waddle and, was one of those that was the highlight of that team last year he came out of no right. i was like who the hell is waddle but the, the the problem was the rushing though. I mean, Chase Edmonds, twenty five yards. Raheem Mostert, sixteen. Uh, good look. Average two point one. Average three point two. Come on, boys. And everybody else that come got on. The, to run the ball once had a better average. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come, come um, on, man, come on. But you had Tyreek Hill, eight catches, ninety four yards. Waddle, four catches, sixty nine yards, and a touchdown. Touchdown. And that was basically your highlight there. Now Pretty I would say that the, the defense was great. Their defense definitely stepped it up. I mean, you had a couple of sacks and things like that, but I don't expect it to be like this with every team. But I will say that I I'm excited to see where, how Tua progresses because he was a fantastic college player, and I yes, was good. very concerned when the Dolphins drafted him because he didn't finish college because he was injured. He, effed up his knee and that's a hard thing when you're to come back from now the benefit that he has and i've never given him the benefit of the doubt is that he's he was young enough that he could fix he could bounce back from that and he's doing that now and it's it's fantastic to see um so let's see we got the dolphins yeah, that, done. That, was, that game wasn't like like but no, I I, like I'll tell it. you one that was. We're like gonna we'll it. go we'll, we'll get the 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 next one, but we're gonna jump real quick to another NFC East team that won. It wasn't the Gi- We're not talking about the Giants yet because we'll get there. But we're talking about Washington. Yep. Hell, Wins- to the- Hell- <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Hashtag uh, hater, baby. Uh, and I got very, to watch that one. Very, I was I was I was worried though. I, I was, was where too. I thought I was too. towards the end. I yeah. was on the edge of my seat. I about punched my phone a couple of times. I was, I, I I was I getting say, shout out to the NFL and NFL plus, because without you, I wouldn't be able to watch all my Washington games. <laughs> I was getting, I was getting ready to text you and I was getting ready to say, Oh, 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 and I but said, you, you know, know what? what? I, I may have been, damn, this is going to hurt me to say, but I may have been wrong about Carson Wentz. Now, first I know of it's all, only week for, one, but what the, they played the Jaguars, bro. Come on, don't get yes, it twisted. Yes, I understand that. They now, played the Jaguars. But I will say, he looked fantastic. He threw th- he over did. 300 yards, four yes, touchdowns. Now, yes. if he can continue to do that week in and week out, then I'm going to have to admit that I was wrong. And well, Ron Rivera knows what the hell he's doing. Well, first of all, you got Antonio Gibson. He he did double do- He He ran for 58 yards. He caught... 72. Yeah. Um, you know, so he he was he was doing his thing. Now uh, I I will say scary Terry. <laughs> he, he is gonna be he's gonna be a beast. Now the one that really shined was our draft pick. Where where the hell uh, that's where am I at here? Uh Dotson. About, da, yeah, yeah. Dotson. Two Ooh, that downs. one catch two, in the end zone. Two, yeah, yeah. Two Hot TDs. damn. Two TDs. Yeah, God That's Almighty! Not, I mean, you, now, and look, I will say, I'm not going to knock the Jaguar. I mean, I am because you know they suck and we they lost, so they're the losers. But 
Trevor Lawrence looked good. He didn't do a horrible job. He almost had 300 yards himself passing. 24-42, 275, a touchdown and interception. Um, Christian Kirk, Captain Kirk got, you know, six catches for 100 and, what was it, 107? God, I need glasses. I have to zoom this shit in. Hold on. Yeah, break out that, old, that is all towards the end trying to catch up with the commanders, though, man. Yeah, that's that, that's that, the problem. That, when you, yeah, ahead. when you're playing catch up, when you're playing catch up football, that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> you know, um, but I got to give it up to the commanders. Even the last play, uh, Wentz, he uh, was holding on to the ball and uh, he, the uh, Jaguars got a penalty. And he knew and he did a wink at the camera because he did kind of like a hard count. He's like, let me get, let me, I'm gonna get these boys to jump. And they bit, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, and I did. They were talking about that on there. So next up, you know, besides that, Washington won. Woo! Uh, Ravens 24 to 9 over the Jets. Now I get it, the Jets. That, that was a ugly it's game gang green, part. don't know anything. But I will say that Flacco. As old as you are, Grandpa, you can still throw the ball. 37 of 59, 307 yards, a touchdown and an interception. Uh, and he did. He spread the ball around because the, there were a lot of receivers getting catches and things. Uh, Carter, 10 carries, 60 yards, but no touchdowns. Okay. So but you here, also had here. Flacco throwing the ball 60 times. That's – the dude is old. He's going to wear out that arm before the season's over if he's throwing the, the ball 60 times a game. Brad, this was <laughs> this this was a uh, ugly. ugly game. Yeah, but here I mean, here's the thing: that. the coach, the Jets coach, says you guys can talk about the Jets all you want, but I'm <laughs> I'm keeping my seats. We're coming back. You, that you was come the back. highlight of the game. Let me let now, me explain. I, How okay, about right, collecting right. some W's? Screw receipts, <laughs> coach. How about getting some W's? Don't be yelling nothing about I got receipts. How about uh, you gotta, get some W's? We got, uh, yeah, a lot of Chris said, uh, a lot of yards, not enough points. What's the point of that? Come on, Flacco. Exactly. That's there the thing. Go. He looked there good, go. but it don't matter. You could have a 500 yard passing game if you're not getting touchdowns. That's all mute. It don't no one don't, cares. It don't matter. I got now, receipts. Now, on the other side of the ball, and I started off the show, you know, with Josh Allen, and and I brought up Lamar Jackson. Now, I will say that this was a different Lamar Jackson. Now, he, yes, we all know he can run, um, but he threw 17 to 30, 213 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He only ran the ball six times for 17 yards. Damn so, right, because you know why? Because he turned the idiot turned 200. I don't want two hundred and fifty million dollars. Watson got more money. I want Watson's money. I want guaranteed money. I don't want him. I'm not. I'm not going to run it. I'm not going to risk my life. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. You know what? He's going to say that. Go, I want him to go and say that same thing. I'm not going to run when Aaron Donald is about to smush you into the ground. When Von Miller. When you're looking at Von Miller as he's that train. That steam engine is about to barrel through you. You say, I'm not running. I'm just going to stand here and throw it. And when they crush you, then we'll see if you're going to start running that ball again. What what would you do with $133 million guaranteed? Here, I'm going to put $133 million in your bank account guaranteed. Bye. Bye. I mean, he didn't want it. He didn't want it. I played the season and I'm off to the islands, buddy. I'm going to be sipping margaritas. (laughs) Didn't want it. He's an idiot. Didn't want it. He is an idiot. I agree. All right. All right. Get we're, hurt. We're, and guess what? You're going to regret it. That's week one. It's my show. Anyways. Regret um, it. Yeah. He, it will. You, you came out. You, you stated that you don't want to run. Aaron Donald's listening. Von Miller's listening. There are a lot of people on defenses that are like, all right, he's not running quarterback no more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Von going to be like, what's, what's that I smell? That's going to be the crap <laughs> in Jamar's draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit um okay so we got that one we got that one here's one that i i swear to god did not expect to be the, the outcome giants and the titans oh, who in the hell who god. in their right mind would have thought that the titans were gonna blow that and lose to the giants uh, by one effing point uh, victor i messaged as soon as i saw that final 
I messaged uh, our good friend Victor Orocho. He has a show on Thursday nights. Make sure to tune in. It's awesome. But he's a major. He's a big. Uh, he's on Sportscast back, as well. He is a huge Giants fan, and I know yeah. he was loving it. Barkley <laughs> is back. <laughs> Shaquan Barkley is back, and he's healthy. Y'all, 164 yards. Average was 9.1. Was... He did a 68 long. Uh, was 18 longest. carries. Yeah, that was that was a healthy, a refreshed, a rejuvenated, a dangerous Saquon Barkley that says, guess what? I'm back. <laughs> Barkley is back, y'all. Yes, you're right, Chris. Boy, Big Blue Barkley did his state thing. In the In the house, <laughs> y'all. That but you know what? Hey, Matt. I, I'm not a big fan of Danny, Danny boy either. But you know what? Bravo to him. He didn't. Do, he only four incompletions, 17 to 21, 188 yards, two touchdowns, and interception. That's damn good stats. I would take that all day. I mean, I would love more yardage. But the uh, fact is, he only threw four incomplete passes Sterling, and got two touchdowns. Sterling uh, Shepard caught a nice pass, caught a nice TD. I saw that. Um, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, after 70, I dropped, 71 I dropped yards. Him. Yeah, you did what? Um, What's that? I, I I got rid of him off my team. Uh, oh right no! Beforehand. And I was no. like, God bless America!" Oh oh, and, and folks, <laughs> to add add to add to the too on Washington. Uh, was you like, need to slap yourself, slap yourself. I did right uh, after this. <laughs> and folks, to add to the 164 yards, the Barkley, uh, Barkley also did 30 yards receiving. Okay, so on six add, catches. If you add all that up, boy, was a beast. He but, was a and beast. The best, if, but if you also look at this, he was targeted the most. Danny was throwing to him the most. He was yeah. targeted seven times. Richie James, six. Yeah. Uh, Sterling Shepard, yep. four. And then yeah. the other two guys got two and one. But you know what? Shout out to the the uh, Giants. Because I, that, this is fantastic. D- I got to give respect. Because Derek, if you would have told me Derek Henry was not going to get over 100 yards playing the Giants, I would have slapped you. Good Lord. He didn't. Now, the, he, that, damn. That's the thing, though. When he's under 100 yards rushing, nine times out of ten, they don't win. Yeah. The problem is that you yeah. you lost to the Giants, <laughs> and you allowed Saquon Barkley to steamroll your defense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, where we can we go? Ryan Tannehill, 266 yards. Uh, two t. He did get two TDs. Um. The best uh, receiver on the team was Kyle Phillips. Uh, Dontrell Hillard, he had 61 yards. I mean, he was slinging the ball. He just, you know, uh, Dontrell did get two TDs, folks. He did get two two TDs. But, damn. So, I want to say, normally our shows end, folks that are watching, we normally end at 10 o'clock. Tonight, we're probably going to go past the 10 o'clock because it's week one, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And, you know. Y'all are going to sit here and listen to us ramble on about sports stats anyway, so deal with it. <laughs> so we're going to jump. We're going to save the best game for last. Okay. Best game for last. All right. What's Seahawks the next Broncos. One? Seahawks Broncos. What? What? Yeah. In the, what happened? Please tell me what the hell happened. Denver, do you not know who you signed? That should clearly should not have happened. That you only got sixteen Gino. points. Gino. Where the hell did Gino like? I, that, I don't know what happened. Did Geno must have been doing something in the offseason because that's a different Geno Smith than I saw in New York. Geno, man. G- G- Gino Dude, he said, uh, was a unstoppable. Be- now, this is what's this is. I'm going to show the Bronco talk Bronco stats real quick. Russell Wilson threw the ball 42 times, yes. 29 completions, yes. 340 yards, yes. but only one touchdown. They, Melvin Gordon. 12 carries for 58 well, yards. Oh, well, what happened was, I mean, they did get to the end, like at the end, and uh, stuff happens. Yeah. <laughs> like Now, shout out like, to Jer- Judy got four catches, 102 yards, and Cortland Sutton, four catches for 72 yards. He had like mm-hmm. three receivers that, uh, two additional receivers that almost broke 100 yards, and one that was over 50 yards. So I, I don't expect that the Broncos are going to take this lightly. I, Russell's probably like fix this uh, shit. Cause this, this here, is, this is my when team. You, now. When you lock down the two top, you had Metcalf and Lockett. They were, I mean, one guy got 36 yards. One guy got 28 yards. You had those guys on lockdown. You should have won that game. 
You know, you should have won that game. The two top receivers yeah. didn't have a, a really good night. Uh, and yeah, that was... uh, rushing, I mean, Rashad Penny, he did 60 yards, but they still, you know, I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah. How, how? Like, I, how? I, I, I didn't watch the coach, listen to the coach and try to explain what went wrong because clearly uh, you didn't let Russell Wilson run the, run the show. And well, that, that here, here, the here's, here, here's the problem. You got, a, you got a rookie coach. You got a brand new coach. When you are four and five, four, like, like give the ball to Russell. He could get, he could have got you those five yards you needed with a pass to have a kicker try and kick a 64 yard field goal. That would have made it the second longest field goal. He was trying to make history. He says, you know what? I'm going to not believe in my high paid quarterback, Super Bowl champion quarterback. And you, you no. know what happened? Kicker. After, after the game, after that decision was made, um, John Elway came downstairs and, and said, boy, I, and looked at the coach and said, I'm about to slap you back to the uh, college league. Now they because asked Russell. In the hell ha- they asked Russell, Russell, would you cool with the decision? And being the gentleman and the sportsman that Russell is, he said, you know, I felt that the coach did the right decision, and I support my coach. But in his mind, he was saying, that mother, do you know who I am? Do you know who my wife is, Sierra? You mother. Damn it. He's, you know what's going to happen? You put ball in my hands. So you know what's going to happen now. The next time he does some boat, the coach does a move like that, Russell's going to be like, John, can, we, we need to talk. Um, can you can you put can you put can you get us a different coach? I'd like this guy that's coaching right now. Yeah, the one that screwed us up and didn't let me throw that fourth on that fourth and five. Put him in the front office upstairs. You, you um, gotta go. look. He's going to pull the way to win the game. This is what Russell does, folks. Don't put he, how many ball, how many man. years did he do that? How many times did he do that in Seattle? I'm sitting, and I'm not, folks. I'm not a. I'm not a Bronco or a Seahawks fan, but I was like, don't take them out. What are you doing? No, that, like, you don't have to be a fan to be like, why are you taking them out? That is what a fan of the Broncos, you don't have to be a Broncos fan. You don't have to be a Seattle fan. If you are a fan of football, that is where you're like, what in the hell is he doing? Why is why is Wilson leaving? No, get back out there and you get that first go down and then we win this game. You go for it. Yeah, you, what you do a, 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 a plays, do something sneak. I don't know. Damn it, do a quarterback draw, do a draw, or something. I don't know. <laughs> anything, damn it, anything. But damn, don't bring the kicker out there, man. For sixty four yard. Yeah, what the hell? He think? He, what did he? Maybe he thought he had the, a different kicker. Maybe he thought he had Vinatieri, Adam Vinatieri, or no, Pat that McAfee. Was... <laughs> he's Pat, just so you know Pat, look, he's Pat a good McAfee kicker he would have been like bro I, no he's a good not, kicker no he's good he oh, is man. a good kicker but come on but, man but there are certain kickers that would have been like like look look i love pat McAfee. i'm a huge fan of his anyways outside mm-hmm. of football and when he was in football he clearly would have been like nope not doing it i'm gonna sit this one out russell going out there do your thing boy yeah. that this was not some, should not have happened that way um, but we are saving, as I stated, we were saving the best game for last. <laughs> How about them Cowboys? <laughs> Jeff, where you at, boy? Come on, troll me some more. How about them Cowboys? Do you realize, Jeff, and everybody else, everybody in the NFC East won except the Cowboys, and they didn't just lose; they got they <laughs> they got smacked around and. Where the hell? What's does Zeke even play on that team anymore? Because I thought I heard they paid Ezekiel Elliott, but I don't know. Is he even there anymore? <laughs> I was like, man, it's like a, a light has shone upon me, and from the heavens, because not only did Washington win, Aaron Rodgers lost, and the Cowboys lost and got spanked. It was like the best day I've ever had. <laughs> it's like when you're first born, when you have a child and it's the first born, it's kind of like that or winning the lottery, but better because the two shitty teams that you hate and the Cowboys lost that like, that's literally the best thing. 
I would take a Cowboys loss over world peace because <laughs> how about them Cowboys? <laughs> oh my God. For, 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 just the only thing I will say Cowboys did good was your boy Parsons was getting the sacks folks. All right. Parsons was getting oh. the sacks. Okay. You know, what else, you know what else they did good? They, uh, they didn't, they, they didn't have a running game. <laughs> Pres- Prescott, they let a 45-year-old quarterback that did not do much in the offseason, did not do barely anything in the preseason, took a break because he, he's Tom Brady and he can do that. <laughs> I mean, Lin- Jerry Jones, uh, I'm sorry, brother. But you- <laughs> Leonard, Leonard, Fournette, Leonard Fournette had an awesome night, 127 yards. Oh, he yeah, running damn. the ball. Um Mike Evans, yeah. you know, he's a stud, 70, 71 yards, a TD. Even Julio Jones, man, uh, was yeah. doing his thing. But, okay, um, so we're going to – I'm going to do – I got one more to share. Um, okay. I am going to mute myself, be, or I'm just going to be quiet because I'm going to share audio with this one um, because I have to. All right, hold on. Let me just jump back because I got to add it. Here we go. All right. <laughs> One down, and who knows how many there are to go. See you first take tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> I love him so much. He is. I am so glad that I can watch, listen to him. He, he, first of all, no matter what you can say about Stephen A. Smith, he's pretty much a hundred percent always right about the Cowboys, yeah. man. <laughs> Which is I'm sad, just, but just, it, you, it is true. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 spot on, man. And I, I'm reading this, and it says. Tom Brady as the first 45-year-old starting quarterback in NFL history looked quite a bit like the younger version of Tom Brady. So TB12, there, I, I would love to know what the hell he got in that TB12 because that's the magic formula. But Dak and the, the Cowboys were left with an old familiar I, feeling. That's I, not will, quite, that I, will quite say, so I will say when Dak got hurt, I thought that was so disrespectful of the fans to throw – uh, stuff at the man. I mean, I, injuries happen. Part of me was, part of me was laughing, but yes, that was disrespectful. I at, at one point I was like, wait, what the hell am I? Am I watching a Philly game? Because that's an Eagles no, move. That was that was Dallas fans pissed off. But see, this is the thing about an owner and about a general manager. When you pay a quarterback, pay that quarterback to play football. And injuries is just something that's going to happen. And I hate to say it, Dak, Lord, man, so, you're injury prone, dude. He, he is. Now, the, with this one, he had a rough night anyways. He got his right hand got struck by when a defender um, went uh, yeah. throwing a pass in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. So the latest injury came two years after the compound fracture of his right ankle on the same field um, that ended his 2020 season in week five. The man yeah. is is injury prone. He's a good quarterback, and I and I'm a Washington fan. I've been a Washington fan since birth. Right. When I came out, I was rocking burgundy and gold already, mm-hmm. and wearing you know shouting hashtag hater before it was even a thing. But Press Dak is a good quarterback. His only his weakness is the injuries because he d- damn sure gets injured at least once a season. If if he comes back, I would hope to God that he stays healthy, but my money is on that somehow he's going to get injured again and that we're going to see another fail. Well, first they said it was six to eight weeks. Now Jerry Jones, he came on uh, radio today and he was talking about it might be because they're not getting anybody else. They're not bringing Cam. They're not bringing Kaepernick. They're sticking with Cooper Rush. (laughs) Um, Shout out to, shout out to, uh, Ryan Suckup as well. Five connected on five field goals. He was a stud. Stud, if you had him on your yes. fantasy football team, you had a stud kicker that So, night. and then our, our reigning goat, Tom Brady, as always, who wins, 
is 7-0 and against the Cowboys now. <laughs> it's going to just eat it, Jerry Jones. You let a 45-year-old quarterback whoop your butt, throw a bunch of touchdowns, <laughs> and go 7-0 and against you. And 18-27, um, 212 yards, and then there's some. Now, I will say that he did look rusty. But as we stated be before, he missed, a, he skipped a bunch of stuff because he can because he's Tom Brady. And obviously, even if he skips a bunch, he still looks up bet like his younger versions of himself. So I don't know what the hell is going on with the universe and Tom Brady, but the man could probably play till he's 50 and still beat the Cowboys. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm I'm going to get I'm, I'm going to give Tom Brady his respect because, yes, he is over 40 and playing football, folks. But Dallas didn't look good, man. They did not. No, look good. no, they didn't. They they have some work to do so now that we have accomplished all of that i'm going to pull up the schedule so we can get our week oh, honor, hold, hold on i got two two teams we did not talk about but i just want to give oh. honorary shout outs that's okay, kansas go ahead. city oh and crap, I forgot we... los angeles chargers folks oh God, herbert, I forgot. we skipped those Her didn't we? herbert and patrick mahomes <laughs> get honorary shout outs mahomes was i saw the highlights 44 points Hill, he five, Hill four, 40, what did he have? Five touchdown passes? I, I yeah, lost he, track after yeah, at some yeah, point, but was I was fire. like, God damn. Fire. You realize Carson Wentz almost threw as many touchdown passes as <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's Patrick, crazy. That is a crazy stat. No, no, no. What is a crazy stat is your boy Murray got paid Arizona. Look, man, you better study in them books, boy. What, maybe they're right. That's literally what they said the issue was. And maybe what they're right, man. You better study. I, I, boy, I'm starting to I lean towards you. I think that they were. Okay, Whew. so I'm going to pull up a – I've got a thing here I'm going to pull up. It's, I'm not going to show it, but I'm, I'm going to jot it down. So starting for week two, I didn't get this done in time for week one, but we're going to go and do our picks each week, and we're going to see at the end of the picks. season – but Who yeah. is the genius? I mean, we know it's going to be me, but still. <laughs> um, actually, let's see. What? What the? I just. What? What did you just say? Uh, did Did you not hear that I, I'm going to win at the end of the season? That I will have all of the correct answers, so I clearly will be the the Mister Know It All of the yeah. NFL. And knowing okay. who to pick okay. and everything, it just doesn't. Lots, for some reason, lots, it doesn't carry much. over to to fantasy leagues. Um, I don't understand it, but okay. So let's see here. We're just gonna do this. Um, all right. So what do we got here? First one up. There's. Oh, you know what? Actually, you know, Thursday night football is on Amazon Prime this week. Yes, it is. That is Prime. that's the that'll be the first uh, game. Mm -hmm. That's a good but game, too, folks. The, yes. Uh, Chargers and the Chiefs, both 1-0. Um, Who should be a with? very good one. Who are you going with? I, I got, I'm going to Chiefs on that one. I, I'm so, I like the Chargers. I like Herbert, but sorry, brother. I can't. I cannot. I cannot go up against Patrick Mose. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm, going, I'm going with the Chiefs, too. Going with the Chiefs. All right. Let me get that, and then I'll put this in. All right, Chiefs. All right. Um, all right. So let's see. Next one is uh, Dolphins and the Ravens, who are also both want to know. Dolphins go to Baltimore to face them, so that should be interesting. Um, go with Miami. Go yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I'm going Miami, Miami. on that one because Miami. I like Tua. I like what I saw. I'm not with Tua. a fan of Jackson, and the problem is that he he wants money. They're not giving him money, and I think that's going to affect performance. Plus, I just don't like the, the if they take if he takes away his own running game, they are in trouble. Um. So let's see. Okay. So we are both going uh, Dolphins. Yep. Should be interesting. Do you think that's going to be a, a which? Well, we can, um, while I'm typing this up, do you think that'll be high scoring, or do you think um, it'll it'll be evenly matched? 
Um, I'm gonna say evenly match and say evenly match. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put it there. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. The next one is Jets. <laughs> no, Jets I'm going with. I'm, you know, I'm going with. I know you're going Browns, right? I'm going Browns, baby. I'm going you know Browns. what? I'm actually I'm gonna go against you on this. This is gonna be my upset pick. I'm gonna go Jets. <laughs> I'm gonna regret it, but. I'm gonna go Jets for the upset. Uh, <laughs> Chubb, Chubb, Jets ain't gonna be able to stop Chubb. Oh and no, I know. I know. I, I, this is more of a comical upset pick because right. I, Chubb is gonna run, run uh, all over them. Um, next up is Washington at the Lions. Sorry, I'm, um, I already know. I'm going Washington on that one. Um, what what saith you? Whew. It's actually a tough one, to be honest. I'm going Lions. I'm going Lions. I don't think nice. Washington's DeAndre Swift, man, I don't think they're going to be able to stop him. That guy's going to be running through him. Okay. Uh, next up, Colts at the Jaguars. Colts at the Jaguars. Um, I think uh, I'm going to have to go with the Colts. All right. I want to Easy say the it. same. I want to say the same on this one. I just don't. I think. I think Henry had an off game. Um, clearly, the passing's there, and it's. Let's be real. It's the Jaguars. I'm not. I'm just not sold on them yet. I think they've got some <clears throat> some work to do, and trying I to go agree. up against the the Colts is not the way to to, to do things. I agree. Um. So next up, <laughs> Bucks at the Saints. I'm already going. I'm going Bucks. Um, I don't bet against Brady, um, but we'll see what you got. That's going with the Saints, one, baby. Going with the Saints. Honestly, I could see it too. I mean, that, uh, that's Mike, a tough one Mike, to pick. Mike Thomas is back. Um, and some hill. That, they got a- and that running, that running. Yep. And you it's know, in that, New Orleans. Yes. That's another. That's another actor that would go. I just. I'm going bucks for Brady, but I, I clearly see that it could easily be Saints walking out a win. With that one, um, next up, Panthers at Giants. I, I don't want to go up. I don't want to bet against, um, uh, Baker, but I, I'm going. I'm Giants. going Giants. Okay, you are too. <laughs> I'm going Giants, I, it's, 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 it's quant- Dude. If, if that if if he plays that way every week or at least mm-hmm. the next few weeks, I mean, and he looked very good. Right. He showed no signs of rust whatsoever. I think I, that is is going to be a tough one to beat. Christian, I think he's a stud, but I think there's, I think there's something wrong. I think there's something wrong. And uh, uh, but yeah. Next up is the uh, pan or no, Patriots are traveling to Pittsburgh. Go up against Steelers. I I already got who I'm going on. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going with Steelers, man. I'm going with Steelers. That's, that's who I was going to say. I'm just I'm going with Steelers. The Steelers look look good. I know they've got some issues with defense, um, but the Patriots, I think, have more issues that Belichick doesn't want to talk about. Um, next up, this is going to be, I think, an easy one. Falcons travel to, to um, L.A. to go up against the Rams. <laughs> Rams are going to have Falcons for lunch. Yeah, I was going to say the uh, they they are going to take that loss, that spanking they got by the Bills, and I feel bad for anybody that's a Falcon fan that's going to be out there because it's not going to be pretty. No. Yeah. They, um, they, and uh, Mary, Mary, oh my God, come on, dude, come on, Donald. Mariota is going to eat him for lunch. Yeah, I <laughs> Mariota, you may want to call in sick that day. I I'm might want to call it in sick. Yes. <clears throat> um, okay, so next up, Seahawks at 49ers. I am going 49ers on that one because I, wa- I, I got to actually watch the game on my big screen TV, mm. and I the Seahawks win. I get, Yes, I know Geno looked great, but I don't ex- the 49ers are a better team. Uh, Seahawks. De- de- defense is going to eat Gino. Okay, so we That's clearly know that Ray. I don't even have to ask. We know he's going 49ers. Going for um, it. Going 49ers. 
All right, Bengals are going down to Dallas. I'm going Bengals on that one. Sorry. <laughs> That, that ain't even a Bro, don't even, point. don't even insult me. You know who I'm going. I'm going with Bengals, dude. Cooper Rush. Yeah, oh my Cooper God. Rush going to be rushing down the field, running for his life. Right. Let's call up Stephen A. Hey, Stephen, guess what? Bengals at Cowboys. Who you got? And I, and, and All you going to hear Victoria, is. Thank you for your, uh, your uh, comments, dude. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um. Next up, Texans at the Broncos. Uh, so Broncos coming are going to come back. Russell's going to be. Russell's already had already been on the phone. I'm sure with Elway and be like, D- you need to fix this. This this ain't happening again. Um, that's going to. They're going to come out strong, <clears throat> and I think they're going to win it. <laughs> but man, the Texans QB looked good too. But I just I just have a feeling that. The Broncos are just gonna are gonna utilize the fact that they where are they, who, who, who are they, who's got home field Broncos it's in in Denver Broncos. it's in Denver yeah I gotta go I gotta go with the Broncos then I'm go with the Broncos all right all right next up we've got uh, Cardinals at the uh, Raiders Raiders at the Raiders I'm going, I'm going Raiders. Raiders on that one I'm going with oh, the you Raiders. are too okay I'm going with the Raiders. <laughs> Cardinals have too many issues, and a lot of it stems from drama at the QB spot is, is really what I think a lot of it is. Um, Bears. So people don't know this, but um, Kyle and Dan and Brown, they actually put, played in college too. All right, so that's why Brown is over there with Murray. So the next one um, is <laughs> Bears at the Packers. And I'm going Packers on that, and I hate the Packers, but I know damn well that Rodgers is pissed, and he is going to annihilate the Bears. Going with even the if Packers. the defense – you're going Packers? Yeah, going even without Packers. a defense that going the Bears Packers. just don't have any chance. I just, I'm going with history. When he loses game one, game he's two, pissed. He, he's pissed. Um, okay, so that was that was actually the, uh, the Packers-Bears is our Sunday night game. So now we've got – not one, folks, but two Monday two, night games. This two week. Monday night games. Um, first one will be on ESPN. Second one is also on ESPN, but Deportes um, or ABC Ooh. at seven thirty. So the six fifteen game. This is a tough one, but I already know what I'm going. Titans are traveling to Buffalo, and I already know I have locked in my bills. You're going with the mafia. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Josh, I mean. I'm going with I Buffalo. Think this could be a very good game, but Josh Allen, if he starts running, he's just going to be like, get out of my way. I'm going you know Buffalo. who I am? The last, the next Monday night game, and this one's a tough one, is Vikings at the Eagles. Now, I get the Eagles put up 38 points, but the problem is they allowed 35. The Vikings look fantastic against the Packers. I'm going Vikings on this one because I think that they. If their defense plays the way they did against the Packers and they can stop th- that, and the problem is the Phillies' defense is not good right now after one game. That was way too many points. And if Cousins is comfortable and the way he played against uh, the Packers, he could put up a ridiculous amount of points. Jefferson could have a, fe- a career field day there. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs> I'm going with the Eagles. And the reason why I'm All going right. with the Eagles is because I, the combination of Sanders, the combination of Hertz, um, I can end, folks. There's a new man in Philly, and that's AJ Brown. AJ Brown. And I give it. I give it up. Jefferson was a stud, but he 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 was playing up against. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't like think I said, it'll be it'll be interesting to see because, like I said. The Eagles, if they can, if they fit the prop, their defense cannot allow that kind of points. Jefferson right. and Cousins would eat them alive with that amount. I mean, because, like I said, Cousins, when he's and he's played Philly, in, there's already Viking, talk, and played, there's already people talking about Cousins as the MVP of the year. Yes, I've heard on the news, but I'm like, oh my, it's one it's game. Even I wouldn't say one that. game. Uh, shit, why aren't we talking Carson Wentz MVP? He threw four touchdowns. <laughs> I know he's on Washington. That's why we're not talking to him. <laughs> so 
All right, guys. Well, that is it. We will be back next week on Tuesday. We actually have a very special um, guest that will be joining us um, from Midwest Sports Network. So we'll have more details later in the week. I'm getting everything put together. So it won't be just the two of us. It'll be a trio. Um, and I'll have I'll be putting out some stuff on Twitter, Vet Cloud Gaming. Um, I'll push out some info on all of that stuff, you know, where you can find Midwest Sports Network, who's going to be on there, what time, and all that stuff. We might actually start a little early. I don't know yet. Probably not, because if I start early, Ray will get killed um, by his wife. Dude, I'm supposed <laughs> to be eating, and my wife's like, she's texting me. I, I'm having a spaghetti and meatballs. And she's like, I got your plate on the table. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we are out of here. We had a fun, um, this, like I said, it was a wild week one. Enjoy. I hope folks. it's. I hope it's just a wild I'm week too. Still Maybe Niner not. faithful. I will always be I'm Niner not, faithful. I'm, I'm, I'm a let's He's beat a Green Bay. So He's I'm a poser. Green Bay. Yeah, we're 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 rooting the fact that Grandpa Rogers lost. How about them Cowboys and Washington is one and zero. Jeff, you can always right, come we, to the Niners. We'll take you. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,